Located just outside the small town of South Warren, has long been shrouded in mystery. Said to be the home of an unspeakable creature of evil, it has harbored some of Britain's most peculiar and chilling occurrences. You'd have to be out of your mind to deny there was something supernatural going on here. We have no clues, there's no identifiable DNA, there's just this big bloody mess. What kind of animal could have done this? We had to accept the real possibility that we were looking for a body. Strange disappearances, grisly deaths, but instances of unusual activity here in South Warren date much further back in history. Well, tales of the creature of Canis Creek have existed for centuries. Ancient legends and stories told to keep children out of the woods, and perhaps with good reason. Is this the result of a genetic experiment, or is it a demonic hound from hell? These are the questions we need to be asking. Quite the story, isn't it? It's a story, however, based entirely upon speculation and superstition. There have been countless other documentaries, books and reports generated on the mystery of Candice Creek. However, none have been successful in finding the truth. I'm Felicity Walker, and I'm about to do just that. Abram Blackwood was a well-respected farm owner who, along with his teenage son, lived on the outskirts of the creek. On the 15th of March, a power cut struck South Warren, plunging the small village into darkness. With the cold winter chills still looming, Abram set out into the forest to get some firewood. He did not come back. Abram was found the next morning by his son, viciously mauled by what looked like a giant animal. The body was too mangled to identify the claw marks, but traces of canine hairs were discovered on the scene, as well as a set of large, paw-like tracks. The creature of Canis Creek is an enigma. The evidence we have suggests it's from the Canidae family, and yet one alleged eyewitness reports that it also has a serpent's tail. Uh, some reports say that it is an aquatic mammal, others say it's humanoid. Anatomically, it makes no sense. But it's pretty cool, right? Have we considered the possibility that maybe there's more than one creature? Like, maybe it's the forest taking revenge on humanity? Yeah, yeah, I, I had considered the enchanted tree concept. It's just my theory, but like, Abraham was killed when he went looking for firewood, wasn't he? Perhaps you should just stick to recording sound for today, Malcolm. Fine, fine. So, uh, Felicity, what do you think? I don't think anything. That's why we're making this film. <laughs> Come on, you've got to have a theory. My job isn't to have theories, it's to keep an open mind. Someone's taking this a bit seriously, aren't they? At the end of the day, people have died. Supernatural or not, something is wrong. Really wrong. 
Abram Blackwood's death was neither the first nor last bloody tragedy to unfold within these woods. In 1973, two young twins, James and Jesse Coleman, went missing while playing near the creek. A litter of puppies was once found hanging from a tree, skinned, and in 1990, the body of a photographer was discovered, his neck slashed and his camera still in hand. On the camera, proof that something real was out there. Like, where the hell are we supposed to park? Okay, do you want me to do another loop? No, because we've passed this like five times. Like... Look at the side of the road. You see those two yellow lines? Yes. I mean, there were spaces back there. The little village of South Warren, located in the southwest of England, may seem quiet and unassuming, but to anyone familiar with the tales of Candice Creek, it is a place of nightmares. Well, the first time I saw it was about 10 years ago, and it was like a huge black dog. A big long tail too. Not like a mammal, but more like a snake. It was like, uh, like four foot tall, it had five heads. Big ones. And he didn't run, he just stalked across the path, looked at me and carried on. Just as if I wasn't even there. No livestock turned up dead the other month. Now no one knows who did done it, except for Joe. I've never been able to get my horse back down that bridle path. My theory, more like a government experiment. Ain't no one seen that beast and go alive. Not even Joe. We're going to meet a gentleman called Blackwood in the middle of nowhere. So this is it. I guess. Looks nice. He's a serial killer. I'm sure it's fine. Chris, is this a place? Uh, this is where the GPS took us. So then I'm it should so, be. Yeah. Hey, can I help you? We're just, um, we're, we're looking for Chris. Uh, hey, you, uh, are you making a film? That's right, I'm Felicity, you must be Alan. Oh. Hi. Yep, that, 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 that's me. How can I help you? I always wanted to be on camera when I was young. Dad, though, he, um... He always said I was too scrawny to be an actor. Too weak-looking, he said. <laughs> I think he was the weak-looking one. Lying there with his guts hanging out. I take you didn't have a good relationship with your father? He wasn't the warmest of souls, no, but he was still my dad. So, what do you think happened? We spoke to some locals here and they all had some interesting theories. Theories? Oh, you're not a believer, are you? No. It was definitely the creature. I know that. I know that for certain. Do you want me to show you the spot where I found him? Oh, shit. Oh. So this is the spot. His, uh, his body was right here where I'm stood now. Uh, his his legs were, were just just over there, and um, over by that tree was um, where we found some of his insides. Oh, but if you look at that tree, there's some claw marks, and uh, that is uh, where they found those hikers a few years ago. Yet they still keep coming, despite the warnings. Pretty foolish, if you ask me. Okay, great, thanks. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Is that a good that, take? Did that, everything? Uh, don't need me to do anything? No, 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 you're fine. Thank you very much, thank you. Did everything look okay? Did everything come out clearly? Oh, perfect. Are you sure you don't want anything yeah. else? No, that's great, thanks. 
Okay, well, if, if, you, do, if you need anything else, then uh, yeah, we know you've where got you my are, number. Don't worry. You know where I live? Yeah. Okay, you're 100% sure, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Pretty compelling, huh? Please. Well, you, you, don't, you don't believe it? People make up this kind of thing all the time to satisfy their own need for some kind of rational explanation. Look, let's just back up what we have from today and then we can set up for tonight, all right? Hang on, tonight? Headed. Yeah, I feel like we're being watched. Mm. It's almost as if someone's decided to record every single thing we do. Yeah, all right, look, calm down. We've got absolutely nothing to fear. you got everything to fear. You've been meddling with things you can possibly understand. Well, thanks for your cryptic assurance. You can go now, thanks. I regret coming here, I can promise you that. All right, mate, thank you very much. Don't say Joe didn't warn ya. <laughs> Bloody hell. Chill out. Have us some drinks. So please just show the smallest ounce of professionalism. We are not drinking on the job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do not have a camera voice. Yes, you do. No, you do. I don't. As soon as you're in front of the camera, you go all RP. No, Hello, I'm Lucy Walker. No. I'm all about the truth what? and science. Yes. I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> all right, well, this is the first time I've seen you all day about your headset, so. That's true, actually, yeah. yeah. You know. My ears get cold. Mm -hmm. Rising up, back on the street. To my time, to my, my chances. chances. In distance now, I'm back on my feet. Just a man oh, and God. his will to survive. It is the And the last <laughs> known survivor of the guys, guys, guys. 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 That was good. Um, I'm going to turn in for a few hours and I'll see you guys in the morning. That's not like an owl to you. Okay, can you hear me? One, two, one, two. Uh, so this film, is it, is it going to be on telly? We'll ask the questions, thanks. Alan, what is going on? Well, I guess I've got nothing left to lose. The creature you've been looking for, it's me. Oh my god. He's a werewolf. 
Right, so you created this beast then? No, well, I, I simply took advantage of what was already out there. My mum used to tell me stories of the creature before... before she went. I've always wanted to be a performer and I thought, what better stage than Canis Creek? Okay, well, how, how did, did I do it? it? Very good question. All smoke and mirrors. I used to read about it in my books. Funny what people believe these days, isn't it, really? Hey, look. Ow! Wireless surround sound system. I've got it hooked up to most of the woods. Calibrated it myself as well. Oh, uh, do you want to see everything else that I've got? Do you realise that we are filming everything? You're going down for this. Oh, does that mean I'm going to be on the telly? You killed your own father. Uh, he, he, he was an abusive bastard. I just lost control one day and the reason I started all this was simply to cover it up. I never thought people would actually believe it. Oh, well, what about all those innocent people? The photographer, the hikers that went missing a few summers back. Yeah, the missing children. Did you kill them too? Oh, hold, hold on a minute. I have never killed anyone. Except for my dad. But I was a kid myself when the twins disappeared. I am an artist, not a monster. So I suppose those other people found viciously mauled to death, they were just a coincidence. Accidents happen. This is the woods. All I was trying to do since was scare people away. Yeah, all right, stop the show. Do your bow. Call in the police. That wasn't me. How, how are you doing that? I'm not doing anything. I swear. Hello, police emergency. <laughs> Warren Way, an old man appeared before me. You'd best go back just the way you came. You'd best turn around, he warned me. The wind falls silent and the skies turn dark. Here, where footsteps vanish and evil makes its mark. With a bold of heart or faint and me. Best not go down to Canis Creek. I run as fast as lightning back down the way I came. But the way I came isn't anywhere in sight. I hear another roar and run with all my might. My head feels dizzy, I can't carry on the fight. I drop to the floor and turn to see a fly. Spanish and evil makes its mark With a bold of heart or fate and me You'd best not go down to Canis Creek Stay away, stay away from the creek It is not safe 